Perry Simmons final two full games were big for the Buckeyes, but may prove to be much bigger for him personally. Mark Rogers, TV, the voice of college football, breaking down the game we all love. Best discussion, debate, and analysis. That's our aim. That's our goal. That's our mission. If you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. Leave your comments below. Share these videos on social media. So understand that most people out there that love college football don't know that we are here. You enjoy the content. Please share the videos out there to people that you connect with on Twitter, Facebook, and other social media platforms. Let them know that we are here talking college football every day. Hit that bell for the notifications. That way you know when we're going live. Trey Sermon has declared for the NFL draft. He just ran for 870 yards, four touchdowns, and 7.5 yards per carry for the Buckeyes in 2020. Really good stats, but of course he was a monster in the final two full games for the Buckeyes. He has etched his name in Ohio State lore with 331 yards rushing, an all-time record breaking Eddie George's mark from 1995 against Illinois as Sermon went off for over 270 yards in the second half, 331 against Northwestern to win the Big Ten Championship and bring the Buckeyes back from seven down to 19 consecutive points and winning 22-10. They went to the playoff because of Sermon and other contributions, of course. 193 yards in the playoff game against Clemson. In my estimation, he ran even tougher, better, smarter, harder, madder against Clemson. Again, a buck 93 against the Tigers. Keep in mind also that Trey Sermon has never been a workhorse. Never asked to do that at Oklahoma or Ohio State, but he was those final two games with 60 carries against the Wildcats and the Tigers. Unfortunately, Sermon's final carry in college was the first play against Alabama, and it was only a two-yard game. Not the end of the world, except that Sermon injured his collarbone, left the game, and would not return against the Crimson Tide. Trey Sermon, in his career at Oklahoma, a very productive player in part-time duty, always shared the carries with other backs there at Oklahoma. 744 yards rushing in his debut, 6.1 yards per carry and five touchdowns. Ironically, he scored his first touchdown through the air in Columbus at the shoe against the Buckeyes, a game that Baker Mayfield and Joey Bosa have not forgotten. Trey Sermon almost ran for 1,000 yards his second campaign in Norman, 947, 5.8 per carry, 13 touchdowns. And then 385 in his final season at Oklahoma as other backs emerged. Sermon was nicked up as well. 7.1 yards per carry, though, four touchdowns. Okay. Then he goes to Columbus and again. Uh, Master Teague was the number one back. Sermon was the complimentary back to start the season against Nebraska and for basically most of the season. Then against Michigan State, Trey Sermon went off. He only had 10 carries, though for 112 yards, and then, again, became a workhorse, suddenly became a workhorse, a guy that was used to carrying 8, 10, 12 times per game, ran it 60 times in two games against Clemson and Northwestern. So 870 is final season, 7.5 per carry, four touchdowns. He caught, let's see, 20, 32, 48 passes in his career, for another number of touchdowns. For the career, 6.5 per carry, almost 3,000 yards and 29 total touchdowns. He's 6'1", he's 215. The scouting reports say he's got a good burst. Not as athletic as you would think for a running back featured at times at Oklahoma and in the end at Ohio State. A little wiggle. Tough. He proved that in the final two games, though, against Clemson and Northwestern, that he could carry the mail, and he was determined. I I did not see that determination out of Trey Sermon the, surf, the first several games of the season, but he worked up a, ra a lather, he got into a groove, and it seemed like the momentum from the Northwestern game spilled into the Clemson game, that he just gained this added confidence that he was suddenly the man. He was relentless in those games. He, he does not have top-end speed. He's got good speed. He runs upright. Now, that worked for Eric Dickerson. I don't know if that's going to work for Trey Sermon at the next level. Mel Kuyper Jr. has him rated as the third back in the 2021 draft. Trey Sermon, Ohio State, your thoughts below about his projection to the NFL and your memories of Trey Sermon as a Sooner 
and a Buckeye right here at Mark Riders TV, the voice of college football. Please like, comment, share the videos on social media, and subscribe.